Good morning, guys. Uh, we are in Yerevan, in Armenia. Uh, we came here just for several days to explore the country and to restart our um, year in Georgia because we can be in Georgia only for one year and then we have to um, cross the border. Today we're going to walk around uh, Yerevan. We have several places that we keep in mind that we want to visit. We're going to explore the city. I have um, high expectations <laughs> and I don't know if it will be like I expect it to be or not. We have rented a little apartment uh, at the edge of the city uh, because we have a car so it's not a big deal to drive like 15 minutes to the city center but um, it's cheaper than renting in the center. I'll give you a quick apartment tour and then we'll go to have our breakfast. So we're in the center. <laughs> So we have uh, like little living room uh, and kitchen there. We have our mat for Adeline to crawl around. Agatha likes to run. Here is the bedroom. Um, <laughs> I find the, the kind of the layout of the bed is very funny, but probably they didn't know how to put it uh, in a different way. And. Here is a little bathroom, just a very, very small bathroom, like shower, yeah, and Agatha likes to run very much. So they're all waiting for me to finish filming and we'll go. Hi, Adeline. Adelinechka. Adelinechka, Adelinechka. Are you going? Yes, I'm going. I have an interesting view here also. You can see very far. We are going to the local bakery for breakfast and bakeries are very popular here. I've seen so many of them on the map. So yeah, I'm all about that. Like they have very, very beautiful variety of sweet stuff and not only sweet like these bakeries most of them have also uh like proper meals for breakfast like sandwiches uh like scrambled eggs and stuff but you want to go so we went to that cute bakery slash cafe that is called yerevan bakery and the food was so good there. In general, everything we tried in Yerevan was extremely tasty and they've been serving big portions. So I told my husband, if we come there next time, we'll be eating everywhere. For breakfast, my husband got an omelet, I got salmon and egg sandwiches and Agatha wanted surniki, a very common Russian breakfast. I also got herbal tea, they are very popular there. Most people speak very good Russian, so it was super easy to communicate in Armenia and I missed that feeling a lot after moving, so it was a very pleasant experience. And as I said, they had just insane bakery things, everything looked absolutely delicious. Then we went exploring the city and after some walking we found a big beautiful church. It's Armenian Apostolic Church in Armenia. They look very similar to the Georgian Orthodox churches from the outside, but they're not the same. They're quite different actually when it comes to religion and traditions and things like that. Of course we couldn't pass this church and went inside and it was very peaceful there. The main uh, one of the main tourist destinations here is called Kastkad, and and it's like a giant fountain with stairs. So we are on our way, and Agatha is just 
She just wants to run around. <laughs> So these are the stairs, they go right to the very end, there are a lot of um, levels and in each level there are some art stuff. But obviously if we try to go all the stairs up till the end we will probably die. <laughs> the cascade looked quite impressive, thank you a lot kind Armenian people for making escalators there. Unfortunately fountains didn't work at this time of the year, but I can imagine that it must look beautiful in summer with green grass, trees and water shining in the sun. Some levels had just territory for walking outside near fountains and some had museums, but all the museums were closed as well, so we weren't very lucky that day. I got по газону не ходить, по газону. Газ уйди, пожалуйста, с газону. Там по травке нельзя ходить. Там специальная травка. There was some interesting art on the way to the top and of course the view from the top was just astonishing. We could see almost the entire city from there. We spent some time just chilling there, Agatha was enjoying playing on the stairs. And the weather was so nice, it felt like spring, although technically it was spring already. <laughs> Then we went around the city center to explore it and of course Agatha quickly became tired of walking and sightseeing, it's not her favorite thing to do and the thing for all three-year-olds sightseeing is not very interesting. So we found a fun activity for her that she'd been asking to do many times in the past. <laughs> <laughs> After all the walking around, it was already lunch time, so we decided to go to the traditional Armenian cafe to eat some traditional food. So we went to Taverna Yerevan. I mixed a couple of days of occasional filming into one day vlog, so it would be more interesting for you to watch. So please ignore the clothes and weather differences and just enjoy the vlog. 
I've noticed that they like to name things either Yerevan, Armenia or Ararat. Most places had <laughs> at least one of these words. One thing I can say is that people are in general super friendly and they love children. Agatha got so much chocolates and fruits from strangers, it's quite normal here. So when it comes to that cafe, we got dalma, which are tiny rolls with ground meat uh, with spices cooked in grape leaves. They are very small, but they are quite tasty, with sour cream or a similar sauce. Agatha wanted plain rice, so that's what she got, <laughs> and I got some baked mushrooms. Toto also got lamb hashlama. It's a stew with a lot of broth, meat and vegetables, mostly like potatoes and carrots. I got a little portion of pork shashlik as well. These are meat fried on the fire. Agatha ate all the lavash bread that I got with shashlik and Adeline got apples as a gift from the waiter, which was super cute. Then we had our energy back and we went to see Vernissage. It's a big flea market, one of the popular tourist destinations. And although it was a work day, it was still working, but of course there are more sellers on weekends. So everybody recommends coming on Sunday or Saturday in the morning. I expected to see a lot of vintage stuff, but it turned out that there mostly are craftsmen selling their works, which also was very interesting. There was a lot of handmade jewelry, woodcrafted chairs in different sizes and with different decorations. They had fancy things for shashlik frying, they had paintings and a few vintage things as well. What was the most surprising thing to see was that there was a hidden corner with all the chemistry supplies. It looked like an old Soviet school chemistry cabinet, all the bottles and glass things. They had all the different elements, materials, colorful powders and bags with just unknown stuff. This place had some Breaking Bad vibes, honestly, and people were staring at me, so I wasn't filming much there. went to the city center again, to the fancy part with a lot of stores and good walking territory. I was quite impressed to see a giant mall under the entire street. It was one line of underground stores, but it looked pretty cool. There were a couple of other underground crossings that I was very impressed by, because where I'm from underground crossings look like this. <laughs> We didn't see any playgrounds for children in the city center and even in the park, which was upsetting, since Agatha wanted to play somewhere. But we finally found these grass-looking big decor figures, and all the kids were using them as a playground area, so we joined too. <laughs>
In Yerevan they have a giant circle in the city center with the main buildings called Republic Square and they have a national museum there so we went straight there. Yerevan center is small so we parked our car in the morning and we're just walking everywhere and so most of the center quite fast. Walking around the big ethnographic museum with a three-year-old isn't the best experience but we still enjoyed it. They were telling the history of Armenia from the very beginning. At the end of the day we got hungry again, of course, <laughs> and went hunting for pizza. Pizza is always good. We found a certified place with Neapolitanian pizza and it was pretty good. Right next to this cafe was a special place with extremely tasty USSR style donuts, you know, the light and fluffy ones. It was on my list of places to visit and food to try, so we took some donuts for the late night snack. These are my favorite types of donuts. Сейчас я покажу. Что там? Что там? And then we went for some more city walking before driving home. Yerevan at night is also beautiful because of all the light. I liked the city center because it was comfortable to walk around with the stroller and it was modern and at the same time it had old vibes and people were friendly, the food was good, we had a very good time together as a family, so I guess our trip turned out to be great. Thank you for watching guys and see you in my next video, bye bye!